Well, greetings to you. Happy holidays. And I pray that you are well and experiencing God's best. You know, many of you all know who I am, Anelia Wright Mosley. And um, I have been enjoying myself with my family this holiday. I've gotten a chance to speak to some of my friends during this time. And I am just so grateful for having some amazing people around me. And in this process of communicating with some of my family and friends, it has caused me to reflect and to just be grateful and thankful for the people that God has placed in my life during this season. Um, I, I can look back over my life and I can think on some experiences that I have went through that literally I, I should have lost my mind, um, but God kept me. And I'm just grateful that I'm still here. And uh, sometimes people, they look at your life on the outside and, you know, they think you have it all together, but just don't understand some of the the struggles and the, the challenges that you are faced with. And sometimes people, you know, they judge you because of some of the, the people that you are positioned um, with due to the field that you're in. But I want everyone to know, even the greatest person that you look up to, even the greatest pastor, the greatest celebrity, the greatest entrepreneur, everyone go through struggles and challenges in life. That's why it's so important for us to love on each other and to, to speak life into each other because you never know what another person is going through. You never know the, the issues that people are faced with day to day. Your position doesn't, doesn't shield you from challenges. Um, um, your, the people that you know or however much money that you may have in the bank, it doesn't shield you from struggles and challenges in your life. That's why it doesn't matter if you are a multimillionaire in my circle or if you, you know, living from paycheck to paycheck in my circle, I'm going to treat you the same because money doesn't make you. What makes you is your love for people, your character. And what you're able to bring to the table when it comes to love and when it comes to um, consideration. And that's just in my world. And I just want to encourage everyone out there you to know, write the vision. Make it plain. And God will send people to help you carry it out. I promise you. Even now, God is lining even more greater people on a, on a bigger platform to help me. Because I, stood, I, I stepped out on faith and I believe God. I was crazy enough to believe God that God could do greater for me and my companies, Righteous Records, AW Horizons, my new online school. I, it's amazing how God, when you believe God, when you go beyond what you see, and you trust God for more. And you put it in the atmosphere. I remember I asked God for a particular thing. It took a couple years for it to arrive. But when it came, it came at the perfect time. So whatever you need from God, I need you to be, be crazy enough to speak it in the atmosphere. And believe that it's going to show up at the perfect time for you. I, I just pray you do that. But I want to quickly just pray for you all and I want to pray for the visionaries that's on this line that God will um, give you all the discernment on what to pray, how to pray, what to speak out and that it will come at the perfect time and you will be prepared to even capitalize on whatever that thing is that you are believing God for in your life. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much for every leader and visionary that is tuned in to me right now and God I know you promise in your word that if we would delight your, ourselves in you, you said you would give us the desires of our heart. God, I thank you right now for every dream, every vision that is in the heart of those that are listening to me, even now live and those that will listen to me later. God, I'm asking you to allow that vision to blossom. And God, for those that are, are dealing with fear, 
in moving forward are scared to even speak things because they know your power, but they're looking at what's in their own ability. God, just like Moses, he, he thought he wasn't good enough to lead the people because of his stuttering ability. But God, you surrounded him around positive people that would speak life into him. And God, I'm asking you to do the same for those that are looking at their, their issues and, and they're insecure about what they see and what they feel, how they're not good enough. And God, I'm asking you to surround them around positive people and use me even now to speak life into them, that they are a child of God. They are the head and not the tail. They are above and not beneath. And you said, if you be for us, you're more than the whole world against us. God, I thank you, God, that we can do what you've called us to do. We can go where you've called us to go. We can be who you've called us to be, God. Let us not get weary in well-doing. Allow us, God, to allow our strength to be positioned in you so we won't look at our inabilities, God, but we will just be obedient to you. And as we obey you, God, you will give us the supernatural ability to do things that we never dreamed that we could ever do. God, I speak that you will allow us, God, to do start doing the things that we feel that is in that's impossible, but everything through you is possible. So God, I pray that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. God, we speak life. We speak life, even in the business that we put aside because it just wasn't working. God, I'm praying that you reposition us, reposition our mind, reposition the people that maybe we had working with us. God, send somebody else that, that is more um, creative or that's, that has more resources to help us to get it back off the ground and not give up on that dream. Maybe it was just not the right timing, but God, you are giving us the ability to cast our net on the other side. And God, we will experience increase. So I thank you today. I thank you today that all things are working together for the good of them that love the Lord and that are called according to his purpose. God, I speak in depths, God, that even this prayer I pray, it will go beyond our generation. For those that are starting business, that's leaping out and, and, and expanding their businesses, God, these businesses will go on into our generations, from our children to our grandchildren, to those that we choose to take on in our family and invest in them, God. I pray, God, that it will go, this prayer will go beyond 50 years, 100 years, and God, our names and our legacy will continue to, to reign on this earth. And God, everyone will know through our generation that Anelia was a woman of God. That Pastor um, Jason Rennable, he was a man of God and he believed God. And when he spoke, things shook the earth and things manifested. I thank you for Thomas Mosley. I thank you for Dr. Sabrina Jackson. I thank you for Pamela Hill. I thank you, God, for Russell Tom Thomason. God, I, I thank you for everyone that is tuning in because, God, you have given us leaders the ability to produce wealth. God, it's time out, God, for those that are anointed, that are struggling. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You have given us power to get wealth and to be able to leave an inheritance to our children and their children. God, I speak supernatural ability, God, for us to walk in what you have called us to walk in. No more fear. You haven't given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. God, you have given us the ability, God, to change nations. You have given us the ability to change our community. You have given us the ability to change our own household. God, help us to start by writing the vision and making it plain and believing that what we speak, that it shall be done, that it shall be done. Somebody right now need to declare for your household that my visions that the Lord has placed in my heart, they shall manifest. It shall be done by his spirit, by his power. It shall be done. God will send you who you need to have to help you carry it out. You don't have to worry about the how. You just need to obey God and launch forth. God, I thank you for every leader. And I pray this prayer that we shall 
do what we have never done before. We shall operate under anointings that we've never operated under before. We shall live a holy lifestyle. We shall obey the voice of God even when we don't understand it. And we shall succeed and we shall produce wealth and we shall have influence. We shall change laws. Even I pray God that we put prayer back in school. I pray God that we have senators and presidents God that will bow at your name and that will serve you openly. Y'all we are believers. We can change what we see. With faith, all things are possible, but we have to work the faith. Faith without works are dead. We have the power. We just got to learn how to use it. Let's start by writing the vision and making it plain. I love you all. You know how I like to end it. Keep going. Shab well, greetings and thank you so much for tuning in to this broadcast.